Hello everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial about customizing your own workspace. I'm your host Buddy Blackford and we can get started on customizing our own workspaces immediately. So what a workspace is, is pretty much everything you see on your Photoshop uh, screen besides this middle part here. This is the canvas right in the middle, but all this stuff on the side on the right will be like your will be your workspace and even this stuff around here you can rearrange things and everything to create your own workspace so the first thing I want to show you is that there are already some preset workspaces that you can work with and there's two places to find them the first way is over here in the window uh, drop down menu and then go to workspace and then here's your different uh, workspaces here you can click on one and it'll go to it for you. So this is the workspace that is called new in CS6. And you can tell what workspace you're on over here on the right, on the top right. And this will have the new things that are in CS6 that you can like, you can check out for yourself. Now over here on the top right, you can also switch quickly switch between your different uh, workspaces here. And this is the more, uh, I feel like this is a better area to go if you want to uh, go between your workspaces real quick. So you can uh, pick something like typography here. And basically this has all the stuff that you need for uh, typography if you're working in Photoshop like that. So let's create our own workspace where we have whatever we want. So I'm going to switch back to essentials real quick just so we can see the different types of things that we might want and click on this again and go to new workspace and we're gonna name this um, whatever you want it and I'll name my buddy's workspace and we got this little section here panel locations will be saved in this workspace keyboard shortcuts and menus are optional so you have the option to change up the keyboard sh shortcuts and then like the menus up here if you would like but I'm not going to I'm just gonna hit save and uh, you can make changes to the workspace now and they will be saved so if I just want to get um, a rid of this color one so I can close that tab close this tab I'll just close a bunch of tabs and then I'll add some more um, let's go to Let's add some, let's add the actions tab in here and history. Let's delete out something. Let's delete out that group. I'm doing this by right clicking and clicking on close tab group. And now I've got like my own little workspace here. If I switch to back to essentials, it'll have everything else that I previously had and isn't messed up or anything like that. I can go back to my workspace up here at the top and it has all the things that I created myself. Now if I maybe I want to change this up a little bit I've got this floating over here maybe I want it like that instead of along the side. Let's go back to essentials it'll be back where it was in the essentials one and in my workspace it is over here just floating around now. So that's how uh, that works out. Now to delete a workspace, we'll just come over here to and click on delete workspace. Go to my workspace and you can see that I can't select it because I'm currently on that workspace. So we have to move to a different workspace real quick. So I hit cancel. We'll go to the essentials here. And now let's go to delete workspace. And now I'm able to delete buddy's workspace. Delete it, hit yes, and now it's gone. Now I don't have to worry about that. So if you're like sick of looking at the new in CS6 workspace here, you can always delete it if you want to. I mean, it's not it's not a really helpful one, but it'll it just shows you what's what's new. So I like just using the essentials and customizing my uh, customizing the essentials one to what I like. Now when you make changes to a workspace, it'll stay. Um, how it is even if you exit out of Photoshop it auto saves it for you So that's uh, how you create your own workspaces fairly easy there um, 
that's uh, I guess yeah that's all for that's all for this tutorial um, I can't think of anything else that would actually be in there that we need to know um, well see you guys in the next tutorial where we're gonna be talking about um, let's see creating like a customized user interface so that'll be pretty cool see you guys in that tutorial goodbye